Good day, students. My name is Lassisi Ajadi, your physics teacher. Our topic for today is classification of musical instruments and vibrations in strings. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to analyze the concept of sound waves with emphasis on one, the modes of vibration in a stretched string. Two, the classification of musical instruments into wind instrument, stringed instrument, percussion instruments. Three, some class activities. Content. Let's start with vibrations in strings. The study of modes of vibration in a stretch string is of importance because some musical instruments such as guitars, sonometer, piano, violin, and harp, etc., are made of strings. If a stretch string, such as that of a sonometer, is plugged in the middle, a transverse wave travels along the vibrating string. A node N is obtained at each end of the string because the string cannot move there. And an antinode A at the center where the string is most free to move. In this mode of vibration, the vibrating wires produces a sound of the lowest possible note, whose frequency is called the fundamental frequency F0, as shown in figure below. From the figure, the distance between the two consecutive nodes is equal to the length of the string and is given by L is equal to NN, which is equal to lambda over 2. Or the wavelength lambda is equal to 2L. Using V is equal to F lambda, the fundamental frequency F0 produced by the length of the string is F0 is equal to V over lambda. And when we substitute 2F for lambda, F0 is equal to V over 2L. That is, the fundamental frequency F0 is equal to V over 2 L. Higher frequencies, which are integral or whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency F0, can also be produced in the string. These are called the harmonics or overtones of the fundamental frequency F0, e.g., 2F0. 3F0, 4F0, 5F0, etc., where F0 is the first harmonic, as shown in figures below. The velocity of the wave propagated along the string in terms of tension or force applied, a mass per unit length M of the string is given by V is equal to the square root of T divided by M. Since F0 is equal to V over 2L, then the fundamental frequency F0 is equal to 1 over 2L times the square root of T divided by M. 
This means that the frequency of a vibrating string depends on its length L, the mass per unit length M, and the force or tension applied to keep the string stretched. We'll be back after a short break. You are welcome back. In the last lesson, we have shown that the fundamental frequency emitted in a string is equal to 1 over 2L square root T over M. And we want to show the relationship between the fundamental frequency, the tension in the string, the mass per unit length, and the length of the string as follows. 1. F0 is proportional to the square root of T, where M and L are constants. 2. F0 is proportional to the inverse of the square root of M, where L and T are constant. 3. F0 is inversely proportional to the length L, where M and T are constant. Let's take an activity. A metal wire of mass 1 gram and length 50 centimeter is under a tension of 80 newtons. Calculate the fundamental frequency F0, B, the first and second overtones, C, the speed of a transverse wave in the string. Solution. F0, the fundamental frequency, is given by 1 over 2L square root T over M. Where L is equal to 50 centimeter, which is equal to 0 0.5 meter. Tension T is equal to 80 newtons. M is the mass per unit length, which is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0 0.5. And when we simplify that, M is equal to 2 times 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram per meter. And when we substitute for L, T, and M, F0 will give us. 200 hertz. B, the first of a tone, F0, F1 is equal to 2 F0, which is equal to 2 times 200 hertz, and that will give us 400 hertz. For the second of a tone, the frequency F2 is equal to 3 F0, which is equal to 3 times 200 hertz. And that will give us 600 hertz. C. The speed of wave produced in the string is given by V is equal to F naught lambda. We have lambda as equal to 2L. Then V is equal to F naught times 2L. And when we substitute 200 for F naught, 0.5 for L, and we simplified, the velocity will be equal to 200 meter per second. Now, let's look at the classification of musical instruments. Musical instruments are classified into A, wind instrument, stringed instruments, and C, percussion instruments. In musical instruments, the source of sound is set into vibration by striking, plugging, and bowing or blowing. Let's look at the wind instruments. A wind instrument produces sound through a vibrating column of air. Examples are clarinets, saxophones, flutes, and trumpets. Wind instruments may also be classified as organ pipes, which are basically divided into two classes, the float pipes and the reeds. Clarinets and saxophones are examples of reeds, while flutes and trumpets are examples of flute pipes. Wind instruments may either be closed or open, Pipes. Open pipes have more brilliant tone than closed pipe. 
as they are able to produce more overtones. In each of these instruments, the player blows through the open end, causing a column of air to vibrate. And by manipulating the keys of the instrument, the player alters the length of the vibrating air column, thereby producing sound of different tone, frequency, or pitch. That is, a short column of air produces a high tone, while a long column of air produces a low tone. Let's go for a short break. You are welcome back. We are still on classification of musical instruments. So we now want to consider the stringed instruments. These are instruments which have strings. And when the strings are plugged, they vibrate and set the air around them into vibration and produce sound. Examples of stringed instruments are piano, guitars, sonometer, violin, mandolin, harp, etc. The physical principles involved is that the frequency of a vibrating string depends on its length, mass, and the force or tension applied to keep the string stretched. A long, thick, and loose wire or string produces a low frequency note, while a thin, short, and taut string produces a high frequency note. Strings of musical instruments can vibrate to produce both the fundamental frequency and the overtones. The various combination of the fundamental frequency and the overtones is a major factor which determines the quality of the musical sound produced. String instruments produce different notes. Their notes differ partly because of the method used in displaying the strings. For example, a player bows a violin, but plucks a guitar. Let's look at the next class of uh, instruments. Percussion instruments. Percussion instrument. A percussion instrument produces sound when it is struck or hit. They have taut skin, membranes, rods or plates which vibrate when struck or hit. The note produced is usually of short duration. Examples of percussion instruments are talking drums, bells, wooden gongs, xylophones, and toning fork, etc. A drum has a stretched membrane that vibrates when it with a stick and cuts around its rim enable the player to change the pitch of the note emitted by the drum. Xylophones have metal or wooden bars that can be set into vibration. The wooden bars of the xylophone tune to various notes and arranged like a piano keyboard are struck with mallets. Bells Cymbals and gongs also make use of vibrating metal. I want to take the following as your assignment. Number one, classify musical instruments. 
give three examples of each class. Number two, in a stringed instrument like, like a guitar or violin, high-pitched notes are produced when the strings are A, thin and short, B, thick and short, C, thin and long, D, thick and long. Number three, write out the relationship between the frequency emitted by a string and its length, tension and mass per unit length. Number four, a string of about three grams has a length of 60 centimeter. What must be the tension in the string so that when vibrating transversely, it's first overtone as a frequency of 200 hertz? Reference materials used. One, new school fixes for the senior secondary school by M.W. and Yakoha. Two, random fixes for senior secondary school certificate by BLN Indopo and PNOKK. Three, Google search musical instruments. Thank you for listening. Please continue to stay safe.